And oh, let me do that. Let's get down to there. There we go. Studio mode. There we go. Greetings, everybody. BJ Wilder with you finally here. I have so much to do. There always seems to be so much to do around here, but we're here. We're finally ready to go. We're ready to do some trucking today. But first things first. Let's talk about Extra Life. Yes, a little highlight reel there from Extra Life United 2017, because I can't believe we're talking about this already. Extra Life 28, Extra Life United 2018 is uh, already being planned out and all that good stuff. Again, for March, I don't, you know, I have my papers here and I don't have them now. But um, yeah, again, every spring, every March uh, for a weekend or so, I think it runs usually Thursday through Sunday, if I recall correctly. Extra Life United, the grand, uh, probably the the second most thing we look forward to as Extra Life participants is Extra Life United because that brings everybody together who does Extra Life from all over North America and even outside of North America as well um, uh, to come together and talk about Extra Life and meet meet all these kids, the champions of all the hospitals that we play for here um and supports uh with our time and of course everybody out there who makes a donation supports with their donations um we get to meet the kids play with the kids you know we get to meet everybody who's involved with extra life meet you know all the other gamers who participate that we don't normally get to meet so in that highlight reel, reel there, there's uh there's more than one person i'm familiar with i haven't met any of them in person but uh knowing people through the stream team here and just uh gaming in general uh, some familiar faces there. Mine, not so much, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's Extra Life United is one of those things I just can't, I can't get there. We don't have the the time or the money uh, right now to, uh, unfortunately, be able to get to Extra Life United. But there's plenty of other gamers who can, and it's it's great. It's a it's a wonderful a wonderful thing that Extra Life does here, in addition to National Game Day every November. But what is Extra Life? You may be asking if you're not familiar with it right now. Well, uh, in a nutshell, Extra Life is doing what we're about to do here for the next hour and a half or so. And that's uh, play games and uh, raise money for the Children's Miracle Network um, of hospitals. Uh, now, these hospitals are, are strictly kids' hospitals. They're spread all across North America, from Canada through the United States, uh, even down to Puerto Rico. Phil, uh, our, our Puerto Rican a participant there and a stream team member as well so uh yeah we cover all the bases really um we have a german participant uh, at least one i think we may have two german participants if i recall correctly um who, who live out in germany they participate support a hospital it's, it's all great stuff so yes it is uh, it is january 22nd 2018 and here we are uh, extra life united is only a couple of months away already wow it just seems like we were just we're, you know, viewing that highlight, getting excited about that highlight, and all of a sudden here it is. We're we're, we're anticipating another new highlight coming soon. Um, but uh, yes, in addition to Extra Life United, of course, there is uh, the participation part as well, where you can go to. If I can point the right direction here, www.extra-life.org to sign up, to become a participant, completely free to sign up um uh, to participate at the classic level which we did here a uh, scant three weeks ago january 1st as a matter of fact right here live uh on this stream uh we signed up for our 2018 participation of extra life my sixth year this is entering my sixth year of participation right 13 14 15 16 17 18 yes yeah, six years i can count <laughs> So yeah, and excited to do it um, every year, uh, day in and day out. Uh, you know, Extra Life is not just that one weekend in March. Extra Life is just not that one weekend in November. Um, they're big weekends, uh, you know, uh, for certain. But uh, Extra Life is 365 days a year um, for many of us. Um, I, I try to do, if, if, if not game or do something with Extra Life, uh, at least talk about Extra Life, let people know, hey, it's 2018. It's time for, for more fundraising. Uh, time for more adventures and all these different games we love to play for Extra Life. Um, yeah, 365 days a year. Uh, Extra Life uh, is out and about and raising money and all that good stuff because, you know, at the end of the day, uh, what these kids go through, you know, that's 365 days a year too. You know, cancer, birth defects, serious injury, serious illness. Uh, you know, psychology, mental issues, all sorts of different stuff. And that's what this money goes to, um, helping all sorts of those things, treatments, um, special programs, pet therapy programs, music therapy pro programs, art classes, 
you know, um, buying games uh, for the kids to play while they're in the hospital. You know, all sorts of stuff this money goes to. Uh, so that's why it's so important that we that we encourage people to sign up and participate, especially as gamers. I mean, it's really twofold. Again, not only are, are we helping kids, helping these hospitals uh, by just simply playing a game and having people sponsor us um and have a hundred percent of this money that they do sponsor us with go right to the kids go right to the hospitals um but it, it you know it's good for the gaming community as well you know um i think it was just the other day uh i saw something on the news or something that sort of didn't shed uh, gamers again in quite the positive light um and that that seems to be all that there is on the news you know if something tragic happens on the news or something that's you know, a lot, of just, a lot of depressing stuff on the news, but it seems if, uh, you know, if a game is involved or the game community is involved, it's always a negative thing, it seems. Uh, well, this is something wholly positive. This, this shows the world what we can really do as gamers. Come together and raise over $10 million in a single year for these hospitals. Raise over $40 million over the last, where are we, 10 years now, right? Last year was, I think, was the ninth year, 2008. Yeah, this is the 10th year of um, Extra Life. Uh, that we're doing here. As a matter of fact, yeah, in fact, let me uh, do this too because uh, let me pop out of here and change change my window uh, real quick here. Let's go to the large window. Large window, please. Because uh, I should be able to bring this up. Yes, here we go. And this this is why, this is how Extra Life got started. And this is one of the reasons, I guess, we could say that Extra Life uh, got started way back in 2008. Oop. Uh, oh, let me, because uh, of my overlay here. Yes, on this day, which this was yesterday, January 21st, um, Tori Edmond passed away. Uh, the world lost one very special girl on January 1st, uh, 2008. And that's uh, Tori there with uh, a nurse in the Children's Hospital of Texas, I believe. The Tex uh, Texas Children's Hospital, I believe it's officially called. Uh, Tori had uh, contracted uh, a form of leukemia. And of course, uh, you know, had, had other issues along with that that comes along with that. But uh, yeah, that's why Extra Life is here because of Tori. Um, and and you know her tragic death, and uh, one man's vision, I guess I I could say uh, Jeremy Adams, who we also saw in that highlight earlier, um, who decided you know um, that his friend Tori, you know, she passed away. He decided not to let that death go in vain. And so uh, this great thing called Extra Life was born uh, back in 2008 that unites the gaming community every year throughout the year uh, to play games, raise money for these kids that are still in these hospitals, still suffering like Tori suffered. And uh, hopefully with every dollar, every penny that we raise here, uh, we get one step closer to, um, you know, curing uh, diseases permanently uh, like Tori's and stuff like that. So... Um, as Tory parent, as Tory's parents uh, always say, so you know this doesn't happen to another uh, parent's child. Uh, so that's why I extra life. I, I'm a parent of two kids here, um, you know. So and knock on wood, you know, healthy kids uh, haven't had to worry about anything um, outside of the normal ails of childhood. Um, but you never know what the future could bring. So that's why I extra life, you know, because uh, there's lots of kids out there. Uh, that aren't as fortunate, uh, that have to go through some really tough things. And uh, if every if every single penny that I can raise here as an Extra Life participant uh, can help ease that a little bit, then you know I'm more than happy to do this day in and day out, week in and week out uh, for these past five years. And now, of course, like I said, my sixth year. So that's what Extra Life is, you know. At the end of the day, we're being real life heroes for kids. So let's get on with it. Let's 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 get on with doing this gaming here, uh, continuing our adventures here in the classic, the 2007 classic, uh, Euro Truck Simulator here. Some retro gaming, uh, for which I uh, am known for and I enjoy. So let's rock and roll here. Let's go ahead and load our game. Let's see. Oh, still in week one, Thursday of week one. Uh, this should be it, right? January 8th was when we were last here playing. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. So let's go ahead and load that up. Let's see where we're at here. As I recall, we did uh, do a new paint job on our truck, which is nice. Made it uh, purple for my RMG Gaming 
gaming colors, so to speak, purple, red, and white. Okay, here we are. Yes, we're getting tired, so we're, yeah, we parked here because we need to, uh, let's pop in here, make sure I get to my, uh, yes, I know. Uh-oh, my mouse is dead. Ha, ha, ha. I just put a new battery in there today, and the mouse does not want to cooperate. There we go. Oh, yes, I can look around now. Excellent. Got to remember all these wonderful key binds here. All right. Yeah, there's our mirror. We'll head out here. Yes, we can look around at our truck. There I am. Hello, everybody. Ooh. Looks like I need to shave a little bit there. Grow me a bit of a stash, I am. Nice little purple Swift truck. Uh, fortunately, uh, SCS was able to get some license, licensing deals made for uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator, so we can drive the actual things. I think Swift is more or less uh, Scania, um, the Scania model of truck. Let's see, if we go out here, uh, 7, there we go. Can we take the, oh, no, no. All right. That's good. Let's turn the engine off. Thank you. Oh, let's turn the engine off. Thank you. Stop. There we go. Shift. Ha ha ha. Guess we didn't need that. So let's go ahead and um, got my map there. But what I need, I think, I think, I think, is it some of the. There we go. F four. I think that was F four, right? Let me double check here. Some of these F5, yes, S5, F5, Garmar. So it's not too dissimilar from ETS2. So, yes, we were last in London, took a job up to Manchester. What I did want to do is take a visit to Dover. Uh, here, I think this was Dover. So, we're going to take another job down to London. Maybe we'll do Newcastle first. So, do a quick little job here. Um, in Newcastle. Well, I guess it really it's really going to depend on what pays. But first things first, uh, let's see where we're at. Yeah, we can open up French here. Expansion status expansion is possible. It doesn't tell me how much it's going to cost me to expand, though. I did read in the manual. Yes, it does have a manual, surprisingly enough, that I came across the other day. Uh, it does cost uh, money to open up uh, expansion to another uh, country, but it doesn't say that. Gee, that's just the cost per capita there. Maybe that is the, the cost of expanding there. So. We might have to uh, do a few more jobs here before we can really afford to expand, which kind of makes sense, I think. Mm, don't you think? Yes, I think so. Uh, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day out there. So we're still a novice. Yeah, still a novice. We still haven't even driven six. We've only dri not even driven two thousand kilometers yet. So we got a we got a bit of way to go before we uh, become experienced. So yes, yeah, sort of gain access to. One new country is sort of uh, the goal that we're doing at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and close this out. Let's uh, let's rest first. Although I think I can turn off, which may uh, which may um, behoove me turn off um, turn off the fatigue simulator uh, in here. Yeah, see, I can I can disable that that way. I don't have to worry about sleeping. Well, I think for the purposes of today, I think I want to do that. That way, we don't even have to worry about sleeping. We don't waste too much time. Which I, I'm obviously sleeping, you know, takes all of ten seconds. But um, yeah, yeah. See, we don't even have to worry about sleeping now. We can just drive to our heart's content, which is good. Except, of course, when we have to fill up for gas. So let's go ahead and fire this puppy up and see uh, see what jobs are available here. Oh no, my truck's stuck. This happens sometimes. For some reason the trucks get stuck. So what we have to do here is uh, just go ahead and reload the game. I think that gets us. Yes, 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 it's fine. And that gets us unstuck. Unless, of course, I put the parking brake on, which is an entirely possibility. I put the parking brake on by accident. But uh, usually this seems to solve the issue. So let's pop in here. Fire up the engine. What time is it? It's uh, 
3.10 in the afternoon. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. Excellent. My mirror's out too while I'm thinking of it. Truck is very bouncy, I'll say that. Some of the physics in the game not quite as uh, good as it is in the uh, updated versions. Alright, so there we go. Good. Let me get my, I want my menus out here. Let's pop out here. Okay, so there's one mirror. Where is my other mirror? Where is my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is all part of that. Oh, you know what, Matt? I fool me. I know what it is. It's actually hiding the map. There we go. Excellent. So yes, our mirror comes up when we don't hide our map. All right. So we want something close by here. So we've got uh, BCP and we got Euro goodies. Uh, let's go see what's uh, PC or yeah. Let's go see what. BCP may have for us. Is nobody coming? Oh. Not too much traffic this afternoon. That's very nice. Let's pop in the truck here because I find it's easier driving when I am in the truck. Oh, I forgot I'm in England. Yes, let's let's go over here. I'm in England with a non-English -E truck here. Uh, we want to go straight here. I always fun and I gotta remember if I don't respond to chat well that's because I don't want to crash and chats way over here in my peripheral vision um, what I should do is just whip my phone out and put it right in front of my screen here uh, oh we gotta go this way all right I'm just gonna cut somebody off here sorry 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 yes my driving is not the greatest here I'm a little bit better in the other games like I said the physics here is uh, the physics here are really really floaty Out of curiosity, I want to just see if there's an option for that. Uh, transmission automatic gauges digital. I could always go on analog. Let's go analog. I kind of look like the look of the analog ones from the manual interior. We want that fatigue, right? Okay, so now there's very very limited options here, unfortunately. But hey, you know what do you expect from 2007? All right, so let's go ahead and see what jobs we can pick up here. Can't quite afford any of these cargos yet, so yeah. Yeah, we can't even go to London, so we can't pick any of those. The only thing we can pick up is Joy of Joy Fertilizer, which doesn't pay a whole heck of a lot. Hmm. All right, so you know what? Let's go to... Let's go to Euro Goodies. I'm going to see if we can't pick up something that's going to pay at least half decent. Funnily enough, though, uh, this... Uh, this little yard here also shows up in Euro Truck Simulator too, and it's not uh, not that different. Just of course upgraded. Ooh, turn, 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 turn here. All right, let's see where we're at here. I think now we want alt. There's traffic coming that way. I've got to. Which way do I gotta go? I got to. Yeah, you know what? I can actually turn. I keep forgetting I uh, let me pull out here a bit. So I cannot see. Shoot, truck stuck again. Ah, oh, there's the parking brake. Here. See, it acts like the parking brake's on, but uh, it's not really. So, um. If I do this, will that help? No. Okay. See, it's almost like it, it's, it doesn't want to be a manual transmission anymore. All right, so let's go ahead and reload again. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, that's fine, because we didn't make any progress yet. Bring my phone out where I can see chat a little bit easier. I know, another missed call. Well, we've got important business we're taking care of here. Yeah. Uh, let's go here. Let's see. Uh, extra life for kids. Oh, I don't have extra life for kids here. Are you serious? Oh, wait, there it is. Ha ha ha. There we go. 
Now I should hopefully be able to see chat a little bit easier, maybe. We'll see just how easy this becomes. Alright, so, oh yeah, those are analog dials. Ooh, I like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and head towards Euro goodies here. Let's uh, first take a look. Nobody coming, nobody coming. Alright, so let's go ahead. This way. Oh, watch out, road sign. Eh, let's go ahead back in here. At some point, I hopefully uh, I can pick up a nice steering wheel uh, pedal. Um, all right, we can go. It's changing thing here to make make my driving. Oh, uh, oh, there goes the traffic light. Oops. Oh, I'm usually not so bad here. Usually, I can get a grasp. <laughs> I can get back. Get my wheels back under me, so to speak. Here, there we go. In short order, there we go. We're getting it. Once I pick up a load, that'll help with the, the floatiness of this truck here. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, yeah, it looks like we can take quite a bit here. Let's see what I've taken yogurt, I've taken tomatoes. Well, let's see what pays well here. Newcastle uh, apples to Stokes pays fifteen hundred. London, oh, of course we're a little bit further distant from London, but London can use some cheese, can they? That's twenty, almost twenty five hundred there. I'm just curious to see how big of a job we would get if we're coming from Newcastle down to London. So I may take this job first to go up to Newcastle. Let's go ahead and go up to Newcastle because we did go to into London uh, last time. So let's head up to Newcastle. Oh, there could be our trailer. I suspect this is our trailer. So uh, I think we can also look out the window. Oh no, we can't. Okay, that's only in the new ones. Uh, can I load up here? No. I think I need to actually connect to the truck here. Uh, let's connect to this trailer here. Go this way. Let's back her up. There we. Go. Oh, oh, no! Don't pull forward. Pull back. There we go. Let's go ahead and connect her up. A little off there, but that's okay. That's all right. All right. Moving. All right. So we're heading up to Newcastle. So I got to see where uh, where we want to go here. So I think. Uh, all right. So we've got to go out. I'm gonna go out to the right here if I'm oriented correctly. Oh, can't see anything past my truck. There we go. That's better. Tredu. Of course, now all the traffic comes, huh? Go, dude, go. Just go, just go, go, dude. Alright, let's rock and roll here. Yes, this is the correct way. Yeah, let's do this so I can get my mirror. I'll just get that mirror there. I gotta keep an eye on the map though, too. There we go. Yeah, staying in my lane is a hard thing to do. Wanting to make the left out here. 
heading into the M62. Well, again, remember, I want to be here. I am in England. Bit of a road hog here. I think we got plenty of gales, so we should be fine there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to really want to go straight. I think we will want to turn off back over here. 62 Newcastle. Come on, dude. Pick up the pace a little bit. Don't flip, don't flip. <laughs> don't flip the trailer. There we go. Uh, all right, we made it. Okay, on our way to Newcastle here. Alright, so let's bring up our mirror. Thank you. Right, you can see our mirror here. Make sure we don't run into anybody. It's funny, I, I have so enjoyed getting into these games uh, of late. Thanks in part to Battery H, who is also a uh, Extra Life participant and team leader as well, which we'll get into in a little bit here, talking about teams. See, it's... it's that it's really revving up here. It's almost like it's not an automatic sometimes. That's weird. Oh, 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 oh I gotta get over. Somebody's coming up behind me. I think I got time. There we go. So I think it sometimes gets stuck and doesn't want to move. It's waiting for me to shift. And I know there's a key. I know there's keyboard shifting. But uh, yeah, I can't handle that quite yet. But yeah, it, it's really it's really funny how how compelling these games can end up being. It's all about the, at the end of the day, any any game worth playing is all about the type of challenge it offers. And and the the accomplishments and the achievements you can shoot for while you're playing and it's really quite compelling to to pick up a job and and just want to deliver it complete that job uh, to the best of your ability to make a perfect delivery and get rewarded for that and that's really is that any game is just the delivery is a little bit different here where instead of you know picking up a quest and I'm, I'm sorry Picking up a quest and going to fight a dragon to get the, you know, the, the, the gold or, or a, a nice uh, chest piece. I hope I did not miss a turn. Um, um, isn't any different, you know, the del only the delivery is different here. Instead of, instead of, you know, picking up a sword and fighting a dragon, we're just picking up a, a load of apples and fighting the, the road traffic. Here, trying to get get the stuff delivered, Newcastle. Okay, so I want to be over here. So I think I do want to take this next exit here. And when you're vehicularly challenged like I am, it makes it all the more exciting. Hey, Aerodash, how's it going? Good to see you. Ooh. Oh boy, oh boy. Try not to look at chat while we're going around the bend. Yeah, I 
don't want to do that again. I didn't notice any damage indicators, so maybe maybe we got away without damaging our truck here. Uh, let's bring up the map. Let's see. Uh, all right, good. We're all, we're almost at our destination. All right, not too bad. This was a short little trip there. We're gonna try to make it down to London here in a bit. How's everything going, Aerodyne? Good to see you. There we go. Oh, now we're on a roll here. This guy is crawling along here. Crawling along. What are we going? Oh, okay, we're almost up to 90 kilometers an hour here. I'm sure I got you speeding. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, speed limit's down to 30. I think I gotta go straight here. I don't think I need to turn. So I saw from the map, looks like our destination, yeah, it's here at the end of the road here. Now I could make one, two, three turns again there, or I could just do one turn and then be in, turn into the business here. So I think we'll just slow down here. Oh yeah, it is kind of late. I guess I should put my lights on too. I guess I should do that, huh? There we go. Welcome to Newcastle. Cell plan. Now, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, as I do when I'm playing uh, ETS 2, uh, what particular European businesses these uh, refer to. Now, in American Truck Simulator, we have things like Walbert, which, you know, you can obviously sort of reason out. Oh, I need to go this way. Uh, you can sort of reason out. Okay, I am in the right way here. Reason out uh, which business that kind of refers to. But I'm not too familiar with European businesses here. Oh my god, this truck wasn't so bouncy and floaty. Alright, so we got a backer in here. So let's go ahead and spin around. Got my PC running at least right now, so feeling. Oh well, that's good. Yeah, I know that feeling. Like I said, yeah, we just. I just had to configure a Dell on the Dell, uh, a Dell lap, uh, Inspiron laptop on the website uh, for my wife and Aaron because um, they're using using an old old Inspiron 9300, um, which is even older than the one I'm actually using to stream right now. So, unfortunately, my streaming rig is going to have to wait. A little bit longer. So we have to suffer through performance issues sometimes. Now where okay, I am oh, I'm a little off here. I gotta pull around this way. But good, at least yeah, at least your computer's working. Yeah, computers are wonderful things when they work well. In fact I've been trying to go through um getting backups of all my computers and stuff here that we have. And then this, I actually this is a dual boot system here. Uh, when I picked, I picked it up from the Dell um, uh, outlet shop, so it was a refurb. So I ended up um, having Windows Home on it, but I already had an operating system configured um, using Windows 7 Professional. So I ended up making this a dual boot. But I'll log into the 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 original OS. To update it and stuff like that. So I tried doing that yesterday before I backed it up and now it's got all sorts of problems with Windows Update because I sort of was lax in that. It's been a long time. I have to dig out an old external to back up some files. Yeah, see, I'm fortunate enough that when I worked at a tech company, I was able to pick up, you know, use the, use the company discounts and that kind of stuff uh, when shopping at Newegg and Dell and all that kind of stuff. So I was able to pick myself up a, a server, you know, hardware and all that kind of stuff um, pretty cheaply which was nice I got I got focus on turning the right way here um, so yeah I have a server where you know I, I've got that back you know backing up but yeah I got a bunch of, and I, I back up my uh, the laptops and the desktops that we have onto a drive on the server and then I back up all that stuff onto a, a, an external hard drive. There we go. I think, okay, we should be okay now. Go ahead. Uh, let's 
go ahead. We should be able. Yes, there we go. Good enough. We'll take that. Yes, 15, 20. Ah, I did get some damage. All right. We did damage the cargo a bit with that hit. But yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, I've uh, visited Manchester twice. Yes, capable. Uh, I have transported five different kinds of cargo. Excellent. Unfortunately, I did not transport that one without damage. So that streak is over. Yes, ELU. We did show the highlights. In fact, we did see Aero Dash in that uh, highlight reel of uh, Extra Life United 2017. Good stuff here. All right, so let's see if we can pick up a job here heading to London. See if we got something here. Oh, I got a Fragile. We have Fragile cargo. Ooh, that might be, uh, yeah, that might give us something good. All right, so let's, let's, what's to Manchester here? Nothing fragile to Manchester. Can't do that stuff yet. So another, yeah, not even 1500 there, but London. So we do want to head down to London. So let's see, uh, let's do this. Let's go price. Oh, it just goes lowest to highest. Okay. Wow, the fragile. Oh, toys. We can we can take some toys. Toys is in uh, pretty well demand in uh, Stokes in London. I'm kind. I kind of want to take. Oh, let me write that down. So, what did I take? I took apples to man uh, Newcastle. That way, when I do the highlight of this video, I remember what I'm doing here in Newcastle. I'm kind of. Kind of wondering if I shouldn't take fragile. So we haven't done a fragile cargo yet, but uh, I'm looking at here. I mean, it's less than 300 euro difference. See, these are the things that really, really pay well, but I need 25,000 euro before I can afford one of those jobs, I think, right? Yeah. So I got to I gotta drive a lot more before I can afford to uh, start taking those jobs. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, this is 3690, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much the best we're going to get here. So let's go ahead. Let's take some electronics down to London. <laughs> Fingers crossed here. Fingers crossed. And again, you know, uh, I got the fatigue simulator off, so we don't have to worry about sleeping. We can just take this job down, focus on. So there's our load. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, wow. Are we really off there? I want to go this way. Yeah. See, there's no drifting in this. Like, I, it stops dead when I uh, stop pushing the reverse key here. I think we should be not even close to line. All right. Let's do it the easy way here. But it, it, it drifts when I'm going forward. It doesn't drift when I'm going in reverse. That's interesting. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's reverse. There we go. I see now it's drifting. There we go. Boop. Boop. All right. We weren't too far off there. All right. Heading down to London. Heading down to London here. I need to do that. Oh, no, I need to do map, map, I forget, map. All right. So we essentially want to head out to the M1 here. Okay, so we want to head out there. How do we for gas? I might, you know, I probably should stop for gas at least. How long have you been doing Extra Life and what was your first year like? Oh, well, I've been doing Extra Life. This is my sixth year. I've completed five years of Extra Life. My first year was, uh, God, I can almost not remember my first year. Um, it was, you know, well, every I find every year exciting. Uh, but my first year was essentially just getting my feet wet. I actually found out about Extra Life, learned about what Extra Life was um, through playing uh, Try On Worlds games, who are a corporate 
sponsor, corporate partner, however you want to call it, of um, Extra Life. And so I was, um, I want to make it right out here, don't I? Yes, let me uh, go right here. Um, so I'm thinking, so uh, every year around about October, although this year was a little, this past year was a little bit earlier because they had to do their marathon stream earlier. Um, but usually around September, October, um, try oh it's a green light try on um, forms their team uh, and I'm going in the wrong lane um, forms their team and of course uh, as a participant you can join a team or you can create your own team uh, but they formed a team so when I was um, you know perusing the forums of uh, I think it was defiance at the time yeah, this was this was 2013. So this was when uh, Defiance was new and fresh. Uh, okay. Uh, yep, we're still going straight. Um, yeah, the f the first year Defiance rele was released. Uh, so I was very very interested in how they would handle the cross media uh, angle of the game and the TV show. So I was playing Defiance, and then uh, of course perusing the forums, people started talking about this extra life uh, thing and and the team. And what the rewards, which you know, of course got my attention, uh, were going to be. So I started, uh, so you know, of course, perusing the, the, those particular threads, saying, "Okay, what's this actually? Like? What's this all about? How do I participate?" So, uh, of course, uh, you know, at one, you know, at some point, there, there, you know, Tryon had the link to their team to the website and that kind of the Extra Life website, which is uh, right down there. The big door breaks with their slight dot org. So I said, uh, so I looked at it, I said, oh, okay, what, what's this all about? Oh, say so we get to play games. Oh, we raise money for our local Children's Medical Network hospitals. I said, oh, okay, oh, look at that. My local Philadelphia uh, hospital here, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, is, uh, is, is, you know, I can raise money for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, which is nice. It's a, a very premier hospital. Uh, in the country, really. So it's like, hey, why? Boy, I'm going to have Max here. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so wh why not? Plus, I get these cool rewards uh, for being a participant on Try On World's team. Why would I not want to do this? So that's uh, that's how I got involved with Extra Life. So, so my first year was just essentially just playing on National Game Day. Um, you know, so obviously I signed up uh, to participate, you know, I signed up at the classic level, which is free, uh, as participate, but then, you know, I started talking to my, fr oh, I want gas, uh, you know, talking to friends and families, you know, family with them. Oh, man, there goes my truck. Um, my friends and family, and so, hey, I'm doing this cool thing. I'm playing games and raising money for kids and the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, and I ended up raising over, I think around about 200, over 200 bucks, I think. You know, I might as well just fill this puppy, a cap this off here. Nah, uh, you know what, maybe not, because gas is expensive here in Europe. Let's go 300 euro. That should be more than enough to get me where I'm going. Um, any advice you'd give to, uh, to yourself for first year, maybe someone just sign up? <sighs> just have fun I think I mean it, it, it's it can be overwhelming if, it, if it's just the first year you're doing it you have no idea what you're doing no clue on on what to do stuff just don't worry just you know just don't worry about it too much you, you know obviously I wanted to stream um, so I just oh man I just started uh, let me do this uh, I just started streaming oh you're waiting for me um, did, or just start getting into streaming earlier that year. Um, wow, this is interesting. Let me get back in the cat. That was interesting. Um, but don't worry about streaming. Just don't worry. But just, um, I would say, you know, depending on how you want to do it. Um, my first year, obviously, I, I've done, I've done the marathons. I've done the twenty-four slash twenty-five hours every year. So obviously, you want to make sure you're, you're capable of doing that um, I would say you know don't worry about how much you're going to raise um, because every you know 
not everybody can raise these thousands and thousands of dollars like some of these big streamers can and some of these big teams can. Uh, just do what you can. Talk to friends and family. You know, make a donation. The most important advice I think I would have to say is make a donation to yourself, which you can do as you when you sign up. Uh, donate to your own cause. Support your own hospital. Okay, there's no way behind this. Um, because that shows the people that you are serious about what you're doing. Um, and, and, and if people come across your page and, and your fundraising, oh my God, efforts. Oh, please, well, I'm, I'm taking a fragile cargo too. I gotta remember that. Um, if people come across your page and see that you've already got a donation or two in, that'll encourage more people to make donations um, as well. So that's so you know the best piece of advice I guess I could say I have for people is always always donate to yourself because uh, again you know at the end of the day a hundred percent of this money goes to the hospitals uh, goes to helping uh, the kids yeah I, yeah 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 I find I. You know, I find driving in any of these simulation games tough enough, but this one, again, with, with some of the physics in the game, it just, these trucks are very bouncy, very floaty. It is, oh my god. It is, uh, it is a, uh, it is an adventure trying to drive. Especially when you're driving with a mouse and keyboard combination. That, that makes it doubly worse. I think I, I would be, be I would probably be Daddy, better off, especially in this game. I we're, we're, I'm not playing that game anymore. That was earlier. We're driving in the truck now. Why? Why, if I had a steering wheel, I I, I, I probably would be a bit better, especially I especially in uh, the original here, ETS. I want it back. Uh, Dad's got dinner cooking. Tell Aaron to get out of the potty room and uh, start getting dinner together. In fact, I'm going to take a quick break here so I can start getting dinner for you guys anyway. But yeah, it's, you know, it's just have fun with it. You know, the second probably uh, piece of advice is just have fun. You know, we're playing games here. Playing games should be fun. Don't stress about anything. Uh, just enjoy what you're doing. And, and whatever you can raise is, is what you can raise. Every, yeah. every penny ends up helping at the end of the day. You know. At the end of the day, you know, the Children's Miracle Network, which, you know, sort of were an extension of that. Abby Extra Life Patrol. here. Yes, I know, Abby Patrol. You know, Extra Life is an extension of that. You know, Daddy? CMN's been around since 83. So we're looking at, what, 35 years now? This is the, 35, the fifth year yeah. of CMN. And here comes the garbage truck. First the mailman and the garbage truck. Hey, Danner! What's going on? Hey cowboy! Oh yeah, the uh, yeah the plant coaster. I might I might do some plant coaster here in the future. Because I haven't played this game in a while. I don't have. I, I'm usually playing you know the newer versions of this game. So this gives me an opportunity to play this game. No, you can't drive. Believe me, I can drive and I can't drive. You can't drive this. Um, let me put cruise control on there. there we go. But um, no, mommy, mommy won't be here till we go to Aaron's basketball game. Because that's just the way it is. I'm sorry. Yes, you're behind me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't see you. I think I should be. Uh, let me pull up. My, let's pull up the mirrors here. There we go. That's better. Uh, there we go. Oh, Nelly! Let's not crash with our fragile electronic cargo problem. I probably got computers on here. Probably got com computers. I was about to say, probably uh, delivering to AeroDash, but we're all over here in America, not England. I think yeah, it'd be your biggest problem playing your own driving simulator. Yeah. Yeah, it, it took me a while. I, I started out in uh, ETS2 in American Truck Simulator. I, I got them, at, well, I got all these games at the same time, but I started in them. And, uh, you know, it, it, it took me a while to get used to driving mouse and keyboard. Like I said, the physics in this one, this is the original from 2007. 
Uh, this one's even a little bit more flighty and floaty, so it makes it even even a little bit tougher here. But yeah, like I was saying, my, the second piece of advice would just have fun with it. Don't worry about what you're raising. Every, every penny counts. CMN's been around since 80, you know, for 35 years, and they've raised over $5 billion. And the vast majority of what CMN raises year in and year out is just $1 donations. Um, so, you know, one, $1 can go a long way. So if that's all you can raise your first year, you know what, that dollar buys a bottle for a child with a mouth deformity so that child can nurse. You know, you, your dollar helps, oh boy, helps save it. Oh boy, we got traffic backing up here. All right, people, come on. As you can see here, I'm, I'm just hitting the acceleration key. And look how bouncy this truck is. It's a very, very bouncy truck I got here. Subnautica today. Oh, nice, Subnautica. I think uh, I think Aerodash played Subnautica uh, on one of his streams, if I remember correctly. If, it, if it's the, the game I'm thinking about. Ticker, thank you for the host, Ticker. Welcome everybody from Ticker's channel. But yes, yeah, so please go ahead, check out Extra Life, www.extra-life.org. Again, it's free to sign up at the classic level. Of course, if you want to go the extra mile, you just pay a, a $19 registration fee. Uh, and you can participate at the platinum level, which, you know, hey, we got the Olympics coming. Uh, at the platinum level, we, we get rewarded. Um, with a t-shirt if we can raise $200 um, which of course I'm not wearing my t-shirt my, my, uh, today I'm wearing my Twitch Kittens t-shirt uh, which is a streaming community lots of extra live participants in Twitch Kittens we have our own team every year as well um, I'll get it over here. Um, uh, but uh, at the five, if you can raise five hundred dollars and one thousand uh, dollars for your hospital as a platinum level, got him! Hit him! Oh Jesus! I could not stop. And this guy, why were you stopped in the middle of the road, you knucklehead? <sighs> These people. Why? What? What are you people doing? These British drivers, I tell you. Oh, and there goes some more damage. I think I just damaged the cargo, so that's not good. I heard something rattle. Oh my god. My first my first few trips to playing this game were so well. No cargo damage, no accidents, no fines. Today, today is just not our day for being on the roads, I think. Oh, yeah, we got some cargo damage. I can see up top there. A little red bar, some cargo damage. Great. And it's a fragile cargo, so I'm really going to get penalized for that. What is this guy doing? I'm gonna have to check the map or I gotta see how far I'm okay I'm in London at least all right I'm almost there god I couldn't get there without damaging the cargo could I oh uh, well what you gonna do I'm gonna have to make a left up here I do believe so I gotta get in front of this guy Wish I, I can turn right into the business here. Come on, let's make this like this. Ooh, I think we made it. Yeah, we made it. As long as we get into the intersection before it changes, we're fine. Alright. Swing around in here. Hey, Diz, how's it going? Thanks for joining us today. Let's go ahead into this mode here. Make my life a little bit easier. Man, I can't believe I damaged that cargo. That stinks. Alright. We gotta turn this way a bit. Oh yeah, we're a little off. Let's see if I can't line her up. I think if I line up with this traffic light. I think that's what I need to do, but I don't have enough room to straighten that trailer out here. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. 
Let me back her up a bit here anyway. Oh god, my turning. And there's no no option to quick park. I actually have to park this baby. Alright, we'll be fine now. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm pretty lined up now. Alright, we gotta go that way to touch. Straighten her back out this way. That's it. There we go. Alright, let's just go ahead and get forward. off here. Alright, let's go this way. Now I can now I can straighten the trailer out a bit here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I just a matter of keeping her straight. Oh oh hey hoo -hoo. you wanna take that? I will take that. Oh man, 145 euro. Fortunately is a better paying job, but still yeah, and the vehicle cra Oh, two vehicle crashes. What? That hurts. That's over a thousand euro there out of that job. All right, let's see where we're at for... Uh, let's see where our statistics are here. Yeah, we didn't do too good. Uh, cargo... Oh, come on, Mousy. It doesn't help my mouse is acting up either. Uh, we've only gotten five cargoes delivered on damage. Yeah. Completed seven feats at least. So yeah, we've got almost 2,000 euros in fines so far. That's not good. Uh, so we visited six different uh, cargo terminals. Seven different cargoes delivered. Yeah, our police fine, damage penalty. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's take a quick uh, quick video break here just to see um, how uh, Extra Life can help these kids. You have visited London twice. I have visited Manchester twice to transport five different kinds of cargo. Yes, I know. I know. It's my career going here. So, yeah, we're not even halfway through the next achievement yet. So let's go ahead and take a quick, quick video break just to, to highlight one of the kids here that we help at Extra Life. Let's see whose story is on the agenda next here. That way I can get the dinner for the kids as well. And um, let me get into studio mode if you don't mind. Ha ha ha. Uh, let's see. I think uh, last time we played Ariana's story. So let's go ahead and uh, see who's next. Boo, Boo story. How long is Boo's story? Four minutes. That's perfect. So we'll do Boo's story. Let me rename that so I know I did Boo's story. Uh, let's rename. Oh my goodness, rename. Boo story. So this is what we call miracle stories. Uh, and again, these focus on um the children uh who we help at extra life and and really sort of shows shows how that money helps where that money goes uh type of thing you know um really in essence shows us as gamers who we're really playing these games for you know um, a lot of this stuff you know a lot a lot of what we do here pc gaming the internet it's it's all kind of you know impersonal um you know email we don't see people face to face anymore that kind of stuff so it, sometimes it, it's tough to really really see how what good we're doing here and what we're doing how it really really does help and that there's really a face behind the money a face behind the 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 url a face behind the games that we're playing uh, that we're really truly helping here uh, as gamers. So uh, let's check out Boo's story. And uh, we'll be back. Maybe we'll take one more job here. Head back to Manchester. Make sure you rest. Uh, after 12 hours of drying a truck, you must rest for 8 hours. Yes, I know. Maybe I'll turn the, uh, the uh, fatigue simulator back on too. And then uh, we'll go from there. And then uh, that'll be that. We'll be turning things over to Danner. 
today. But in the meantime, let's check out Boo's story. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Thanks, everybody. Let's transition. There we go. Ha -ha. And transition, and there we go. Yes, Boo's story. So again, just one of the many faces behind Extra Life. And uh, one of the many kids that we can get to meet at Extra Life United coming up in March as well a great great time to be had by all except of course for us of those who can't go to extra life united but aero dash was there aero dash had fun yeah it is great fun uh i'd love to be able to get there one year but hey we'll see what happens we'll see what happens all right so uh yeah we didn't have <laughs> we haven't been having too many good trips here uh let's see if we can get one more uh one more job going here um what time is it oh it's 3 55 in the morning and see if we can get one more decent delivery here, okay? Um, first things first, I do want to turn the fatigue simulator back on. Uh, do, 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 that's under options. Zalt would be under gameplay. Well, let's go ahead and enable fatigue. No, enable fatigue. Okay, but let's see where are we at. So let's go ahead and sit back here. Oh, and we're tired, so we're going to have to rest. Um, yeah, I've got to go. Let's go ahead and go rest. So the fatigue simulator comes back right where you uh, left it. So we're going to go rest first. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, that way we can actually... Although, you know what? Have I done it? I did an over... I haven't done the night job on this stream now. Well, we'll do a night job another day. So was, well, you know, or maybe. You know what? Why not? Let, you know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's do a night job. Which means I'm going to have to turn off fatigue. Um... Again, that way I don't have to worry about resting. Oh my god, which button do I hit? There we go. Ha ha. Um, okay. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's get something. Oh, uh, are we stuck again? Alright, you know what? Let's save the game where we're at right now. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, let's do a new save here. Uh, okay, now let's go ahead and load that game. Load. Yes. So we got stuck again. Let's see if we can't find something to go take us up into Manchester here. Before we turn things over to Donna. She took my... Oh. Electronics to London. There we go. All right, can we move? Yes, we can move now. Let's go forward here. Let's see if we can pick up something right out of here. Let's see here. Oh, more fragile. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, nothing fragile to Manchester. Okay. Cheese. Cheese, sugar, dry milk, gravel. Oh, that's interesting. Oranges, apples, ice cream. Ooh, I love ice cream, but I've got to, at this point, I've got to take the best paying job I can take here. So we're going to take uh, cheese to Manchester. Okay, and there we are. Get my mirrors back here, see if we can do this. By mirrors. Yeah, look at that. I think we're good. I'm a little off. I think I can. Yeah, good enough. Um, close enough. Close enough. All right. Yeah, man, we are heading to Manchester here. Close enough is uh, good for horseshoes, hand grenades, and the trucking simulators. It seems. Do, 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 do. Nobody? Nobody? Okay, I want to make a... Yes, I want to go right. I think I want to make it right here. There we go. Okay. I think I really just want to go straight up out of London here. Nice little halos around the uh, lampposts. 
Not yeah uh, yeah well yeah I guess I guess nukes would count too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you don't have to be too accurate with uh, with one of those things, I don't think, either. In fact, we're, in fact, we ought to be tapping, we're, just, uh, is my sister live in Manchester now? No, Cambridge. They live in Cambridge right now. Unfortunately, Cambridge is not on the map. But if I recall correctly, we should, uh, we should be passing Cambridge on our way to Manchester. My sister was down for uh, the after the holidays, I guess I should say, for an after holiday party or after holiday visit from England. She's been living in England for, oh my God, I can't turn. Oh geez, that was not good. All right, no cargo damage. That's all I care about, no cargo damage. Um, and we found out that she got engaged over the holidays. So very, very nice. Very excited about that, we all are. Just got to figure out the logistics of the wedding now, I think. Uh, her fiancé's father happens to be a vicar. So uh, we're kind of wondering if uh, uh, they'll have his father uh, perform the ceremony. See, when I, when I asked him uh, when they were here, didn't seem like they uh, they had they had really considered you know they considered it, but it was one of those things like yeah yeah we kind of don't want that. So it'd be interesting to see. So we might end up doing some live streams from uh, jolly old England. That would be uh, that would be rather exciting. Sometime in the future. But yeah, so we'll do a uh, sort of supposed drive. Now, of course, Euro Truck Simulator 2, I think, has Cambridge in it. So uh, we'll have to do a drive-by of their house. And we have an opportunity here. I think I'm going a little fast here, especially for around this bed. So let's, uh, let's slow down a bit. Ah, uh, there we go. There's our engine brake. But in the meantime, we're here playing games for Extra Life. So yeah, teams. Um, again, a team is, you know, is is another way to fundraise and and basically enjoy participating. Um, uh, essentially, what a team is is just a collection of Extra Life participants who have decided to fundraise under one banner. Uh, so when you sign up, you have the option uh, during the sign-up process to uh, create a team or join a team. And of course, you don't have to do either. Uh, if you just want to do the old uh, classic single-player uh, type of deal, which is perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, uh, well, I did join Team Tryon. I, I played on Team Tryon my first two years. And then uh, as I got more involved with a Star Wars The Old Republic guild and got talking to more people in that, I found out that a few of us were also Extra Life participants, so we ended up getting together and forming um, a team uh, for our guild called Judgment Game. And uh, so I've been on that team uh, ever since then. But of course, uh, new to last year, at least new to me last year, is the concept of super teams. Um, so apparently, now when you can only be a member of one team at a time now you can change team memberships as often as you would like but you can only be a member of one team uh, at any given time uh, but the good thing is uh, the concept of super teams is that you can have it's sort of like a mega team uh, a super team is comprised of individuals and teams so you can be a member of a team like I am Judgment Gaming or Twitch Kittens. Um, and then that team can join the super team, uh, which is which was really nice because uh, this year Toronto Worlds had their super team. So there are a lot of individuals and then a lot of teams who join. And, uh, you know, again, they give away in-game rewards uh, for meeting uh, certain fundraising goals uh, that they set out. Uh, for individuals and so if you meet a certain level uh, if you bring in a certain amount of money fundraising 
uh, you get a certain tier of reward. So uh, that qualified uh, whether you're an individual uh, as part of the team or as all members on a team uh, qualified for those rewards. So that was a cool thing. So you could be, again, a member of Judgment Gaming, uh, the individual team, so to speak. And then uh, Judgment Gaming can join Trial World Super Team. And everybody who's a member of Judgment Gaming can get those same rewards. So that, that, that's cool stuff that they that uh, Extra Life has brought in the concept of super teams. Because uh, again, you know, you know, I, I you know, I'd like to be able to play on Trial World teams. I'd like to be able to support my guild mates, play on Judgment Gaming teams, and of course uh, support my streaming community, play on Twitch Kittens teams. And and the concept of super teams allow sort of allows uh, allows for that to happen. You can all play together. So that's that's very very exciting. Dude, uh, let's move, dude. You're bobtailing, for God's sakes. Come on. You're killing me here. Yes, they're killing me, Abs. They are killing me here. Because he's brake checking me, and this guy's just bobtailing down the road here. I, I've got an important delivery of cheese to make to Manchester. People in Manchester need their cheese. Okay, well, it's 8 o'clock. I can turn my lights off now. There we go. Flash the high beams at you. All right, I'm going to be making the right up here anyway. So let's uh, let's bring this up. Good. I can slide on over. And I, I think... No, no, no cargo damage. So that's 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 the important thing. As long as... What? Don't you beep your horn at me, pal. Now I can go. Um... Oh, now you start moving, dude. Uh, oh, shoot, I missed my turn. Yep, alright, so we're going the long way. We're gonna go the long way. Let me just make this right up here. Oh, I gotta stop, stop, stop. I don't wanna get fined. Ooh, that was close. I could have gotten fined there because I'm over the line. Take the white out? Well, I can't right now. I'm almost done. We're almost done here. I think we'll uh, do this job and then uh, we'll f go, go. Dude, go, 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 go. go. Oh, he's going. You got, you got to go, dude. You. All right. I'm going. Oh my God! I, for I'm <laughs> I forgot. I'm in London. I'm in England. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting here. Look out. Thank God there are no pedestrians because this is going to be interesting here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank goodness there are no fines for this. Okay. All right. Let me, uh, let's get back over here. Let's try not to hit any lampposts. Let's try not to flip our cab here or flip our trailer. Let's go over here. Oh, okay. There we go. Kids, do not try that at home. Please do not try that at home. <laughs> All right, we did it. <laughs> okay. Still no cargo damage. I could have turned down there, but uh, I'm a glutton for punishment, I guess. So we'll just turn down up here, and we'll take uh, we'll take the uh, scenic tour of Manchester here. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I want to go wide here. I want to go here. I wonder if it would be easier on me if I if I had an actual uh, British truck here with the steering wheel on the other side. That that would probably end up throwing me off even more here. Cuz uh obviously in the American truck simulator, we all drive on the right side of the road, the normal side of the road, I guess I should say. Uh, in Euro Truck Simulator 2, everybody in Europe drives on the you know normal side of the road. It's just uh, and and then again, I took a trip to England, and of course I had to remember when I went to England, I had to drive on the opposite side of the road. So yeah, so uh, and and I'm based out of Luxembourg in uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2, so I'm I'm driving around Europe, so it's it's normal driving to me at that point. So every time I pop into here, it's like it, it, it's like I get so involved with something I forget. Oh yeah, I I I, I need to be on the other side of the road. 
Oh goodness, but I think we did it. I think we did it. No fines, no damage to the cargo. And we even got a sort of half half decent parking job there. Excellent. Let's unhook that trailer. Damage penalty zero. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, we did it. All right, we got that. Okay. Uh, now I can. Uh, oh, good. You know, because uh, let's go. Let's go visit here. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and turn fatigue back on. We'll go ahead and enable that. We'll go back. One of the nice things, at least I, I kind of like about this here, is with the fatigue simulation, as it indicates, is that uh, you can drive for 12 hours and then only need to rest for 8, which is nice. So in the other games, you're actually resting for 8 to, I think it's 10 hours. And you can only do, I think, is it 12? Maybe, maybe it is 12 hours of driving. So, But I think we're resting for 10 hours. Uh, which uh, kind of makes it tough when I'm an hour away from a job and all of a sudden I have to rest. Uh, but I, I, I ended up, one of the things that these games have done besides make, sort of making me want to try to get a CDL, uh, which, which would be a, a terrible mistake to do on my part. Um, because I probably would be this bad driving a real truck as I am this virtual truck. Um, Oh wait, there's a light up there ahead I can look at. Um, I've actually started looking up at some of the... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Um, I looked up uh, what the, the, the rules and regulations were for driving and on-duty and off-duty stuff. So it's interesting that in America, um, you can drive 11 hours and then you have to spend 10 hours off-duty. Um, oh, yeah, that was a green light. I'm an idiot. Um, however, if your truck has a um, a sleeper berth uh, in it, you know, a bed, uh, you know, where you can actually uh, sleep or rest in your cab, um, you can split that time up. Uh, you can actually take an eight-hour break. Uh, and then continue driving, and then take a two-hour break, and then continue driving till um, you use up all your drivable time. Uh, so that was interesting to note there. So let's go ahead, park here. We shall rest. Let's go ahead, shut off the engine. Let's go ahead, rest. Do 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 do, and it is now. 4.40 quarter to 5 in the evening and we'll be ready for our next job next week. Okay, so let's go ahead and save the game where we're at here. So, all right, so save game 4. Let's go ahead back into, let's go ahead and, you know what, let's save here. We'll, we'll keep saving there. We'll overwrite that guy. Yeah, let's go ahead. So this is a good place to stop here. Can't do too much more in the uh, few minutes we have left. Plus, uh, unfortunately, there is a basketball game tonight, so that's one of the reasons why I had to get dinner early and uh, you know get to, you know kind of fiddle around here uh, in between being on camera. What did we take? Cheese to Manchester. I got to write that down. So I, I am going to end it here a little bit early because I do have to eat myself. We got a basketball game coming up in an hour. And then hopefully uh, the rest of the week we'll be back to normal. Well, thank you for joining me on this grand adventure through Great Britain here, um, such as it may be. Um, more stuff like this on my YouTube channel. Of course, I, I stream more stuff like this as well. So if anybody wants to catch me on my own channel, uh, let me do this. There you go. You can uh, follow me right there on channel BJ Weiler. All sorts of good fun stuff here. Um, playing retro games. Sandbox building games like Planet Coaster, City Skylines, simulation games like Euro Truck Simulator, you know, and also then, of course, Tron Worlds games as well. Atlas Reactor, Rift. Uh, we're going to be getting back into Defiance again, I think, this year. I'm kind of, I've kind of missed playing that game for a bit. All sorts of good stuff. And, of course, every Friday on my channel, I stream for Extra Life as well. Uh, a game called Stronghold Kingdoms, an MMORTS. 
uh, PvP type of game. So uh, I do that every Friday for my uh, Extra Life efforts to get more of the word out about Extra Life and all that kind of stuff. So all sorts of different things you can do for Extra Life for your fundraising. Raising. You don't just have to do National Game Day. You can fundraise 365 days a year. Because like I said at the top of the show, you know, uh, what these kids are going through is, you know, a lot of it's 365 days a year. They're living with it. Um, so, you know, I, I've gotten to the point after after that first initial year where I've got that first year, that first marathon under my belt, and I started getting my streaming legs under me and and uh, wanted to do more for Extra Life. Of course, you know, um, you know, this is my, is this my second year? I think this is my second year. Uh, yeah, June will be my third anniversary as a stream team member. Uh, so very excited about that to do anything and everything I can in the time I have for Extra Life, that kind of stuff. So go ahead, check out Extra Life. Uh, we've got a great community here of uh, gamers and people willing to help, willing to have fun. Uh, and at the end of the day, willing to do it to save kids' lives. That's what we're all about here at Extra Life. So come on, check us out. Join us. We have fun and games. And we have Extra Life United coming up in March. So. Uh, I'll be talking more about that in the weeks ahead as well. Um, yeah, good stuff. So thanks for joining me, everybody. Until uh, until next week, I think, uh, yes, I will definitely be back next week. I won't be streaming on my own channel next Monday because, you know, I've got dental appointments and all sorts of other fun stuff to do that day. Uh, but I will definitely be back here 3 p.m. Eastern Time to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, as usual for another another couple of road trips I think here for Euro Truck Simulator uh, and then we'll go from there yes this is Euro Truck Simulator January maybe uh, maybe we'll stick with it for February maybe we'll do something a little different for February who knows if somebody uh, wants to come and join me every 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on a Monday afternoon and has a game they uh, they kind of want to see me play I, I think I might be able to do that if I have the game of course but in the meantime, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to turn it over to Danner. More good stuff coming up for the next couple of hours. In the meantime, this is BJ Barr saying, uh, until next time, I will see you in game and on the roads. Thanks, everybody. Have fun. Enjoy your week. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. And uh, remember, Extra Life. Check her out. Be a real-life hero for kids. And I've got to tab out of the game here. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.